The first Republican presidential campaign debate is less than a week away next Thursday in Cleveland. The question everybody's going to be asking themselves over the weekend in the political world is what do the latest polls tell us about who's in and who's out? That is to say only the top 10 candidates in an average of national polling will be on the stage for the prime time part of this debate uh, that Fox News is putting on next Thursday. As things stand now, that top 10 list would be Trump, Bush, Walker, Rubio, Carson, Huckabee, Paul, Cruz, Kasich, and Christie. Falling out of the list would be Perry, Jindal, Fiorina, Santorum, and Pataki. This is an important distinction, of course. A lot of people have said the ability to get into that first primetime debate is the first Republican primary. But the importance probably isn't quite as much as some people would have you believe, and here are three reasons why not. First reason is nobody's really being totally shut out here. Fox is going to do a pre-primetime debate with the second tier candidates at 5 p.m. So if there's something important or memorable that somebody has to say, everybody will get a chance. And if somebody really makes a mark, that'll still be noticed, even if it's not in prime time. Second, this is not the only debate, obviously. This is the first of many debates, which is to say there are going to be nine debates total, um, including one we at the Wall Street Journal are sponsoring with Fox Business News in November. At the next debate, the CNN debate, everybody will be in on prime time, so there will be plenty of opportunities down the road. The third reason not to take this cutoff too, too seriously is the field is crowded enough, 16 candidates, that no matter how you arrange them, there's going to be a crowd on the stage. It's going to be hard for any single candidate to break through at this stage of the game. So yes, it'd be nice to be in prime time. No, it's not at the end of the world for a candidate that's not.